Guess who's back? Somebody tried to shut me down. Wasn't going to let it happen. Let's talk about it. All right, so I'm back. So quick story. May 14th, 2019, this year, just last week or the week before, whatever it was, got locked out of my Google account. Sucked. Didn't know what I was going to do. Had all kinds of craziness going on. Uh, got a text message that said my password was changed. Clicked no, I didn't change it. Went in, went through all this mess, did the recovery. It asked me when I created the account. I have no idea. So I guessed, um, and they sent me an email back that said, can't verify you did this account or you own this account. I went through this about a dozen times in the next couple of days <clears throat> until I, uh, I made a post on Twitter and then they, you know, Google reached out to me and they said, Hey, you know, fill out this form or whatever, go through recovery steps first and then fill out this form. Well, here's the form. And the problem with this form is it doesn't show you, or it doesn't tell you anything that you need to verify. All it asks you is what did you do? How did you lose your account? Did you go through recovery and all this? Um, so I filled it out, send it in. They sent me an email back that says, can't verify you on this account. This goes on for a good week straight. Um, finally, um, they sent me an email uh, on the morning of the Monday after Tuesday after Memorial Day uh, that said that finally after I, I basically blew up Twitter, I blew up Google, I blew up. I mean, I was calling, I was I was emailing, I was texting everybody and anything I could try to figure out how to get it back. Um, and they finally, they sent me an email that said, um, here's the things I need you to verify, reply to this email with the information. So I literally gave them uh, all my IP addresses to all the devices that I own, that I use. Uh, I gave them the last two passwords that I used when I changed the password, because I knew the exact date that I changed the password last, um, because I still had that email in my other, because I changed two passwords at the same time. So I was able to look at that email uh, from when I changed that password, knowing that I changed the other one at the same time. So I was able to give them some pretty specific information, sent them a picture of my, my router at home that had the IP address and everything on it. Um, and then I sent them a picture of an email that I got from them where I was trying to change the contact email from that password or from that original email to begin with. Um, so sent them all that. And finally, about five or six hours later that night on Tuesday, this past Tuesday, I finally got a reset link and so now I'm back in. So for anybody that's trying to get back into your account, just don't give up on it. Just keep keep doing the recovery, keep going through the steps and trying to add as much information as possible when you're going back through trying to get your account. The more information you can give them, the better. So uh, I was really, really mad at Google at one point for not being able to help at all or not even giving me any, any information on how I can verify that I own the account because they say right on there that you can't just give them an identification or show ID or any of this stuff um, because that's not a form of you know verification for them. So I don't know. But basically what they wanted me to, to do was, uh, I'll have to put the email up, but here, here I'll show you the list. You can look at it and see exactly what they were asking of me. But um, I filled all that out, sent it in, and they were able to give me the reset link. So thankfully, I was able to get back into this account. So now I'm back. You'll see some more videos coming up pretty soon. I got a new home. I'm going to be going over to Classic Lanes, uh, where Mason Brantley actually owns a pro shop there. Um, me and him are going to work together a little bit and drill balls out of there. We're going to do some practices over there. We're going to run some clinics. Uh, we're going to do uh, the videos. I'm going to do videos over there, and I'm going to actually get him more involved with some of these videos so we can start doing storm and rotor grip type ball reviews and all that because he is on storm and rotor grip staff. So he's going to help out with that portion as I will do the EBI brand balls um, for the reviews and other stuff going on with that too. So uh, if you didn't know, I'm doing new clinics. Here's a flyer for the clinic that my beautiful wife actually put together for me. So thanks to her and shout out to her for being able to put the time in to help me out with this. I have a few booked already. So if you want one of these in your area, you need to make sure to hit me up. Uh, go ahead, send me an email at betterbowlingfitness at gmail.com. Uh, or at life's traction control jr at gmail.com. Either one would be fine. 
uh, you'll be able to get a hold of me and we'll set some dates up to try to figure out when I can come and do a clinic for you. Also going to be doing some local clinics here, probably going to hold them over at Classic Lanes as well and uh, get that handled. So be on the lookout. I got some new videos. The next video coming up is going to be, I'm going to start doing some review of some of the PBA shows putting some of that data since they're using specto now i can look at their shots and kind of go explain shot by shot what's really happening out on the lanes and see if we can't put together a nice little data piece for people to watch after those shows have already aired so be on the lookout uh, but this is just me saying i'm back hope you guys didn't miss me too much actually i kind of hope you did miss me because uh, i know i missed y'all so we will see you guys later stay tuned uh, and make sure to su subscribe to this page and head over to my new channel. I had to create a new channel because of this whole thing. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one back. So head over and subscribe to that one. That one is literally called Life Traction Control. Uh, I'm going to build that one and start putting different types of content over there. So subscribe over there as well. The link is up here. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time.